Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Ala Musbah, professor of obstetrics and the gynecology faculty of medicine, Mansoura University. Let us discuss some multiple choice question in gynecologic oncology. Should the one best response? Let us start with the first question. A 60 year old woman undergoes a laparotomy because of unilateral ovarian neoplasm accompanied by mental metastasis. The most appropriate intraoperative course of action would be A. Omental biopsy B. Omentectomy Total abdominal hysterectomy and the bilateral salpingoophrectomy C. Excision of the omental metastasis and the unilateral ophrectomy D. Omentectomy and the bilateral salpingoophrectomy E. Ovarian biopsy Please choose the one best response The one best response here is B. Omentectomy, total abdominal hysterectomy, and bilateral salpingoophrectomy. Okay, go to the next. The ovarian tumor that is most common during childhood is. The ovarian tumor that is most common during childhood is. Dermoid cyst. A. Dermoid cyst. B. Sicaliotin cyst. C. Giant follicle cyst. D. Granulosa cell tumor E. Immature teratoma Choose the one best response The one best response here is E. Dermoid cyst Let us go to the next Which of the following would be the most effective means of determining the presence of growing tumor in patient who has gestational trophoblastic disease? Which of the following would be the most effective means of determining the presence of a growing tumor in a patient who has gestational trophoblastic disease? A. Serial chest x-rays B. Size of adrenal masses C. Evaluation of menstrual function D. Presence of lactation E. Serial HCG tetras Choose the one best response. Okay, the one best response here is E. Serial HCG TET. Okay, go to the next. The incidence of sarcomatous degeneration in uterine leomyoma is what percentage? A. Less than 1%. B. 3%. C 10% D 15% E 30% Please choose the best one response The best one response here is A less than 1% Go to the next question please Which of the following is the most important principle in the treatment of ovarian cancer? A. Removal of all resectable disease B. Examination of tumor cells cultured in vitro C. Choice of chemotherapy D. Calculation of radiation dose E. Measurement of tumor hormone receptors Please choose the best one response The best one response here is A. Removal of all resectable disease Go to the next which of the following is the most important prognostic indicator of survival from ovarian carcinoma? Which of the following is the most important prognostic indicator of survival from ovarian carcinoma? A. Stage of disease B. Grade of tumor differentiation C. Nutritional status D. Body mass index E. Presence of sex steroid receptors Please choose the one best response the one best response here is a stage of disease go to the next please the most widely used classification of ovarian neoplasia is based upon which of the following a cell of origin b hormonal activity c degree of malignancy D. Long-term prognosis 
e severity of symptoms choose the one best response the one best response here is a cell of origin next question which of the following postmenopausal women is most protected from ovarian epithelial carcinoma a a married woman using perineal talc powder b an unmarried woman with history of breast cancer c a history of late menopause d non liberous woman with history of regular menses e multiplous woman who used oral contraceptive pills and the now postmenopausal please choose the one best response the one best response here is e multiplous woman who used oral contraceptive pills and the now postmenopausal because multibara is protective and suppression of ovulation using combined oral pills is also protective so decreasing the risk of ovarian cancer what is the most common germ cell tumor what is the most common germ cell tumor a the germinoma b endodermal sinus tumor c embryonal carcinoma d choriocarcinoma e mature cystic teratoma please choose the one best response okay the one best response here is mature cystic teratoma because we are talking about any germ cell tumor whatever benign or malignant but if we are talking only about malignant this germinoma will be the best one but here we are talking about any germ cell tumor whatever benign or malignant so mature cystic teratoma it is the commonest okay which of the following granulosa cell tumor may be associated with which of the following granulosa cell tumor may be associated with a endometrial hyperplasia b congenital adrenal hyperplasia c cushing syndrome d bcos e this genetic gonads please choose the best one response the one person response here is a endometrial hyperplasia go to the next question for postmenopausal women in whom hyperplasia with atibia of the endometrium has been diagnosed by fractional dilatation decretage the usual management is a hysterectomy b hysterectomy preceded by radiation c hysterectomy followed by radiation c hysterectomy and the bilateral salpingo-hysterectomy the best the one best response here of course hysterectomy and the bilateral salpingo-hysterectomy go to the next please adenoacanthoma of the uterus is considered to represent adenoacanthoma of the uterus is considered to represent a a combination of malignancy from two separate sources b an adenocarcinoma with a squamous metaplasia c an extension of extra uterine adenoacanthoma d a neoplastic transformation of indifferent cells beneath normal uterine epithelium e adenocarcinoma only please choose the one best response the one best response here is b adenocarcinoma with squamous metaplasia okay go to the next the predominant mode of spread of ovarian cancer is by way of the predominant mode of spread of ovarian cancer is by way of a ovarian veins b ovarian lymphatics c 
pelvic lymphatics, D, local extension, E, transcelomic root of peritoneal dissemination. Choose D1 best response. D1 best response here is E, transcelomic root of peritoneal dissemination. Go to the next, please. The most common human papilloma virus types associated with CIN cervical intrabacillial neoplasia and cervical cancer are the most common human papilloma virus types associated with CIN and cervical cancer are A. Human papilloma virus 6, 6 and 11, B. Human papilloma virus 16 and 18. C. Human papilloma virus 31 and 32. D. Human papilloma virus 51 and 53. E. Human papilloma virus 59 and 60. Please choose the one best response. Of course, we know that human papilloma virus 16 and 18 means the best one response here is B. Human papilloma virus 16 and 18. Go to the next, please. If a suspicious lesion is seen on the cervix, it is best evaluated by which of the following methods. If a suspicious lesion is seen on the cervix, it is best evaluated by which of the following methods. A. Repeat examination. B. Bab smear. C. Colposcopy and biopsy. D. Cervical colonization. E. Via test which is visual inspection with acetic acid test. Please choose the one best response. The one best response here is C, colposcopy and biopsy. Next, a patient has a ruptured mucinous cystadenoma is more likely to develop A, pulmonary metastasis B. Cerebral metastasis C. Liver metastasis D. Pseudomyxoma peritoni E. Septic peritonitis Please choose the one best response. The one best response here is D. Pseudomyxoma peritoni Thank you. Please remember my Four books published in Amazon, textbook of obstetrics, textbook of gynecology, contraception handbook, and the multiple choice question book. And this is my link on Amazon.com. You can find the sample also at this site. Thank you.